Right now we're going to talk about one coach who may be out on his starting quarterback, and that is Sean Payton of the Denver Broncos. Uh, He talked just about some of the struggles they had, apparently, you know, 18-point lead against Washington at home. You're 0-2 first two games at home in Denver at Mile High where early in the season they've always been really good because of altitude and all that other fun stuff. But the Broncos find themselves with no wins on the season two weeks into the season. And Sean Payton talked about some of the struggles of his quarterback, Russell Wilson, and their chemistry thus far. There was a number of drives, you know, where we're late with personnel, getting out of the huddle. We took a while. I mean, that's got to change. We had to burn timeouts in the first half, and I'm not used to doing. we got to be better, and uh, I've got to be better. Russ has got to be sharper with, with getting it, getting the play out, and then we got to look at how much we have in. But, um, you know, if we need to wristband it, we will. So there's, uh, there's the Why solution. Why is the wristband such a thing? Like, can you answer that, Q? Like, why is – like, when people – like, I remember when I left I left Washington, they were like, LeVar Arrington was wearing wristbands. Like, I don't know oh, my no. plays. And, and granted, oh, no. like, for for a oh. <laughs> for a quarterback, I mean, you guys have way okay, more he, plays he transitioned. than you have to know. He, he, he transitioned quickly. I thought I was going down a dark path for you. No, for no, no. Yeah. You guys have way more plays that you have to know. The verbiage is way longer. Yeah. You got to yeah. call out it, the blocking scheme. You got to call out the receivers. You got to turn back. So there's three reasons why you'd wear a wristband. All right. The first is in the NFL, you have what's called, um, you know, coach the quarterback. At least that's what we would call the system. So you've got a radio inside your helmet, right? They can talk to you. They tell you the play from their headset to the huddle. So um, if that ever goes out, the adjustment is you just signal in the number on your wristband. So you can still communicate rather efficiently and quickly and get the play call on you want. So that, that's the first designation or, or why you would have a wristband. The second is it's actually a quicker process of calling a play. So if I was if I was to say, for example, zero out slot, sixty six double seam snow alert forty double cadence on one. Oh god. Like if I say that, if you were to then repeat it, zero out slot, sixty six double seam snow alert forty double cadence on one, oh. that it takes a while, right? What happens if I just said to you, hey, uh, forty two. Number one. Zero out slot, right. sixty six double you know what I'm saying? Like you're all, that's all you're saying. Right. So it's a faster process because you're not saying the play twice. And that's why it's a bit more efficient, and that's why some people like going with it. Um, and the third, te- the third thing you do is, you know, and look, this, the play calling's evolved over a long period of time. The old West Coast, and this is kind of crazy, but it also maybe speaks to um, how offenses have evolved and how they were installed, but they would just give you a concept. So they'd be like, hey, we're going to run zebra shell across here. And you had to know based on the personnel you had or going into the game plan, what formation, what motion shift, whatever was tied to that. Like the quarterback was responsible for that. That's a lot, man. When you got 300 plays, 200 plays you go into a game with, and it changes week to week. On top of that, sometimes you get a little bit dinged up, a little, little blurry, a little fuzzy out there sometimes, right? It's like that, that, that was a lot. So, you know, for, for some players, it helps them play faster. They, they, you, you know you're not going to get the play call messed up. Like, if you're reading off a wristband and you mess up a play, there's only one way it happens, and that's if you somehow get the wrong number, get the wrong signal, put your finger on the – like, there's, there's obviously human error involved, but it's a lot less slim. So from a um, – I, I think, I, I don't know, accountability standpoint or just not messing up a play call standpoint – you know, you have a wristband, and you know that play is going to be read off the wristband how it should be called. So those are the three reasons why. Um, and in this case, look, it's a new offense. Russell's in a new offense for his second year, right? This is three for him in, th- in three years. And, he, you know, he might not want to admit he wants to use a wristband because he's won a Super Bowl. He's been incredibly successful in his career. And there's nothing wrong with that. But at this point, like, it, it might be more efficient. It might be easier. You know, breaking the huddle with 20 seconds is awesome for a quarterback if, when, when you can do it, when you get the play call and the personnel in. Because now I can go up and I can use my toolbox. I can go use a cadence. I can go change the play. I have plenty of time to navigate all of that. But when you break it 15 or under 15, it doesn't seem like that big of a difference in five seconds. But you'd be surprised at how quick you can change a play, how quick you can communicate stuff. And so it does make a huge difference. And right now, the operations aren't right. 
And I think there's a certain degree of maybe even some, um, you know, uh, you know, uncomfortableness with with the offense itself or what Russell's seeing out there and what he's supposed to be seeing. The last thing I'll say, too, is and I don't know if you guys, your brain operates like this, but most football players are visual learners. Right. That's why you, you write things down. You have notes. You have your playbook. You, you, you put on a playbook. You put it on the on the screen. You watch film of it. Then you go out, you walk through it. It's because most, most, most athletes are visual learners. They're not audio learners. Like, they don't hear it and then can go out and apply all the time, right? Mm-hmm. And so sometimes reading it off a wristband helps you picture the concept in your head. Yeah. So for a new offense, it um, actually AJ helps Jones. the quarterback get a picture of, oh, yeah, that's this. Especially when you called it maybe something different in the past. And that can also be helpful as part of the learning process of a new system. I, what, what's your take on it, Joe? Well, I just – Overall, I think Sean Payton knows that there's a problem. And I think that he's – and it might even be part of the reason why he was so frustrated and airing out, you know, it was Nathaniel Stop Hackett these babies. And, oh, and all, oh, the, and all oh, that. Yeah, just – but I all that stuff. The other thing. I think I think now that he's there – and I said this before. Look, if the Charger job opened up, he would have taken that job. I think this was, you know, he decided to go with this one in Denver. It took a while to get the deal done. And I think now he's realizing that there's more issues with Russell Wilson than he maybe he previously thought. The part that I don't understand is it almost feels like is Russell Wilson like – does, does he look at it as an insecurity? Like, I don't want to be seen with a wristband. Tom Brady wore wristbands, didn't he, for, like, majority of his career? Like, well, I a just, lot of players wore wristbands. Yeah, yeah. I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't What's understand why it's turned into a thing. Like, what, do, what does it matter? Like, oh, he's got socks on. Like, it's almost like the equivalent of that to me. Like oh he's he's got on sleeves like so what yeah I don't like I, I don't like who cares it's like weird. it's like I look at it as like if if it's a preference if it's a part of the game plan like you said like when I was a head coach that's exactly what we did we had so our even on defense everybody had a had a a a sleeve like had a, had a, a wristband because we called out numbers. We call out numbers. Like, call out the number, boom, there it is. They're ready to go. Offensively and defensively, we called out numbers. They looked at their number, like, and we were going no huddle, right? So we're going no huddle. It's like, all right, you know, like we go blue, like we have a dummy call, like blue, blue five, blue five red, right? And it's like, it's the five. (laughs) <laughs> like it's the five you know what I mean like yellow yellow three orange you know it's, it, and so the the other team at least I'm hoping I was hoping the other team didn't get a hold of what we were doing but we look at it and it's a number it like just, so what it, who cares it just seems like it's so much easier and I don't understand what the it, it would be like us being insecure about having a rundown for the show like right. don't, don't tell anybody right. no no, yeah. no 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 we don't know we can't let that be known no we right. do this off the top of our head it's like who I, cares I, it's like almost it's like a a tool that's used to try to justify your you're not smart enough like that's that's what it comes across to as me historically that's what it comes off to me as today it's like are you saying russell wilson has to wear a sleeve because a wristband because he doesn't know the plays well enough i mean that's 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 silly to think because even at the end of the day, you got to know what the guys are doing on the field. Like you call the play, you just got to know what you got to know the play. <laughs> so to say that he like he needs to, he needs a wristband because he's not smart enough to what to say the play. Which one is it? Is it is it post play? Like is it post play call? What is the like? How do you connect a player's intelligence level to them having a wristband with plays on it. I mean, the f- I'm not sure. Well, I'm, I, I'm not it, clear on I, that. I think there's the divide between the outside optics of it and the actual reality. And, Correct. And hopefully I can lay out, you know, why it's used, what it's there for. Um, I it, thought it you did an excellent job. Yeah, yeah it, it doesn't does. have anything to do with intelligence. Job. But I think on the outside, they're like, well, I don't walk around everyday life with a wristband on to figure things out. It's like, well, yeah, but you're not also playing the NFL either. So if you were – playing the NFL, you'd understand why it's used and how it's used and what it's used for. 